I recently purchased a bunch of temperature loggers, so I've got two different ones here and I wanted to see how they perform. I like my drinks to be cold in Australia and when you go out on a long journey often your drinks will warm up quite a bit. So I've got a variety of cool bags and boxes here. This one's a, a Coleman one, it's supposed to keep things cool for 24 hours. Looks fairly high tech. So it's got a silver uh, reflective interior. It feels like it's about just over a centimeter thick. So I've got high hopes for this one. This is my box that I was using prior to that Coleman one for taking drinks in the car. So it's a solid construction. And again, it's probably got a fairly similar thickness, maybe slightly thicker than the, the Coleman one down there. And that's uh, quite a good brand, Esky. This is just a polystyrene box. And again, that's about the same thickness as the Coleman. So I thought it would be interesting to see just how a bog standard polystyrene box would fare. Then I've got this nice big proper ice box and that one's a bit thicker than all the others so I'm expecting this one probably to be one of the better ones out of the lot and that's Ridge Rider Part of a little test maybe you'd like to have a go at trying to guess which one is going to be the best and what order they're going to come in. So we've got the black Coleman one, the blue SK, the blue Ridge Rider and the polystyrene box. The setup for this test was fairly simple. I would just take one of the boxes, put the thermometer in the box and if it doesn't have any latches I'd then tape it up with some tape and then I'd leave that overnight till the morning and then I'd take it out for a journey in the car. I also had a fifth temperature sensor which I left in the boot of the car to gauge what the temperature differential was between the boot of the car and the inside of these boxes. Not sure how scientific this is with not having any ice packs in here but I think it should be close enough. So how did the cool boxes perform? At the start of the test I'd left them overnight with the thermometer inside. All the cool boxes started off within a third degree of the ambient temperature. So you can see here the red line is the temperature inside the boot and that was rising through the day. If I was parking in a car park or in shade then the temperature uh, would dip down and undercover car park there I guess and the same here undercover car park and then as it gets later on in the afternoon the temperature was falling off. For the cool box to do well you'd want it to rise as slowly as possible here and then to fall off slowly while it retains the heat. We can see here the black line was the black Coleman bag fairly similarly. The Coleman was the worst performer. Next was the polystyrene box. 
it tracked the temperature of the boot fairly closely but not as much as the, the Coleman. The two best performers were the SK and the Ridge Rider and you can see there they held their temperature against the temperature of the boot quite well with the Ridge Rider coming out on top it had the lowest overall temperature whilst in the boot so it got up to a temperature of 32.5 degrees when it got up to just over 33 and both the SK and the Ridge Rider I'm guessing have similar construction I'm guessing they've both possibly got an air gap in between which is probably why they both fared quite well and the Ridge Rider being a proper ice box and a bit more expensive performed the best. I think that the Coleman one performed the worst because it had a zip and most of the heat probably got in through the zip. So if you're looking for a cool box or a cool bag then probably better trying to get one that doesn't have have a zip. Cheerio!